Twitter, Hanson Brothers, 21 Jump Street, Faraday, Light Sail Education, and the idea of a city as a startup. What these seemingly unique items have in common is that according to by South by Southwest, they were either started at or garnered significant market share of their region at a South by Southwest conference. Good afternoon, my name is Grayson Harcourt, and this is Sarah Crick, and we're undergraduate students here at St. Edwards. We've done a bit of research in the site, uh, sorry, St. Edwards, South by Southwest, two similar, South by Southwest, and we'd like to share that uh, research with you today, our peers. In our presentation today, we'll look at a little bit of the history of South by Southwest, some of their economic impact on Austin, and then look into four new areas that they've garnered into, EDU, ECO, B2B, and sports. By the end of today's presentation, we hope that you will have garnered a new respect for South by Southwest, and hopefully attend the conference yourself. To begin, let's talk a bit about the history. <clears throat> According to a report by Eloqua and Zest3, the idea for South by Southwest started in 1986, when New York's new music seminar wanted to expand and move south. That idea failed, but their local representative in Austin thought it was a great idea, got together with some of his buddies, and put on the first conference in 1987. It went off so well that they expected 150 people, and 700 actually showed up. South by continued to grow, and in 1994, they opened their second conference, which was multimedia and film. The following year, from their great success in this new conference, they split out multimedia and film to be their own conferences. A couple years later, in 1999, they renamed Multimedia Interactive, creating what we now know of South by Southwest, music, film, and interactive. Their expansion into new areas started in 2011, which Sarah will touch on real quickly. Uh, and next, moving on to impact on Austin. I don't have time to go over everything here, but what I would like to point out is, according to Great Hill Advisors, in 2011, 2013, sorry, uh, they contributed $148.5 million to the Austin economy. Big number for a company that started less than 26 years ago. With that, I'll pass it off to Sarah, and she'll talk about the new areas. As Grayson mentioned, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about South by Southwest EDU. Uh, according to the South by Southwest <coughs> website, South by Southwest EDU is an education conference that brings teachers and education innovators together to improve current and future education systems. They started with just 800 people in 2011 and managed to bring that number up to 4,500 this last year in 2013. One of the more interesting projects that was launched out of this conference was Launch EDU, which is a competition involving educational innovators. Uh, they bring products and services involving education in front of a panel of judges who choose 10 finalists to provide funding to. Moving on to South by Southwest Eco, according to Forbes, South by Southwest Eco is an environmental and sustainability conference that addresses issues like clean energy, climate change, as well as land and water policies. Actually, the original festivals, uh, eight or nine years ago, they had a sustainability team they created in order to address minimizing the carbon footprint of the festival. Uh, when they did this, along the way, they've come to realize that a lot of the topics and things they learned were applicable on a larger, more global scale, and thus they thought they could make a difference by creating this conference. <clears throat> um, as you can see, the uh, conference has generated a lot of networking through the both startups and investors, and it's been quite successful. Moving on to more current ventures, South by Southwest B2B was launched in Las Vegas, actually, this last year. According to Fox Business, as well as South by Southwest, the uh, conference in Las Vegas is an entrepreneurship conference with uh, startups and investors that tries to allow for networking and funding to happen. They chose Las Vegas because it's a smaller venue and because there's less focus on the music and film part of it and thus they can focus more on creating quality business relationships as well as networking. One of the more interesting applications that came out of this was 
the LIHTSA education application, which is a tablet-based literacy application that teachers can use to follow their students' progress in real time via the tablet. And as for our future ventures, actually South by Sports is something they're going to include in this year's festival. It's been a part of the festival recently and in previous years, but just separated it. They had panels and films that were related to sports, but they felt that it had garnered enough attention that they could bring it and consolidate it in one location. If it does well enough this year, then they feel they might venture off and make it its own conference. And with that, I will hand it back over to my partner to wrap things up. Thank you, Sarah. I'd like to begin our conclusion by thanking you everybody for coming and taking part in our presentation. Today we've gone over a bit of the history of South by Southwest and some of the economic impact that it's had on Austin with $145.8 million invested in Austin just in 2013. We talked about the four new areas of South by Southwest, EDU, ECO, B2B, and sports. By looking at Launch EDU, <coughs> understanding that ECO is a great hotbed for new companies and investors. Talking about uh, light sale education that came out of B2B, and understanding that South by Sports origination is actually the music and film conferences themselves. With that, we thank you again for being here and open the floor to any questions.